Bismillahi Rabbil Alameen Ve salatu ve selam Aşrefi Mursalin Seyyidina ve Mevlana Muhammed Al-Mustafa Sallallahu Aleyhi Ve madadakum ve nazarakum Seyyidiyya Resulü Kerim Ya Habib Al-Azim Madadiyya Seyyidiyya Sultan İlahi Ulema Şeyh Abdali Faizi Dagestani Sonuçta Muhammed Nazım Adil Hakkani Mevlana Şeyh Şam Kabani Şeyh Adnan Kabani Şeyh Muhammed Adil Ma Abdi Khalik Al-Hujdavani Sahib Zaman Seyyid Muhammed Al-Mahdi Aleyhisselam Ruhullah Seyyidina İsa Aleyhisselam, Seyfullah Seyyidina Aleyhisselam. Thumma Seyyidina Bakr Sadiq, Seyyidina Umar, Seyyidina Osman, İmam Al-Hasan Aleyhisselam, İmam Al-Husayn Aleyhisselam, Sedatina Fatima Tiz Aleyhisselam. Ve sayrı ve saddatina fi berekati şahri mubarak şahri sahfar. Subhanallah man huwa alimun hakim. And that Allah Azze ve Jal inshaAllah grant us to enter into the Divinely Cave of Rahmah and Mercy, Bahurmat Muhammad al-Mustafa wa Basira Surat al-Fatiha. Ashafat Ya Rasul Kareem, Ameen. InshaAllah, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam, inshaAllah. Let's start with our Salawat book, page 5. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad alayhi salam Salatan tadumu wa tuhda ilayhi Mamara layali wa tula davam A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا فتحنا لك فتحا مبينا ليغفرك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك سراتا مستقيما وينصرك الله نصرا عزيزا لك جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رعوف الرحيم فإن تولوا فكل حسب الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا سلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الفاتحة لنا ولكم يا حاضرون وبلدنا وبلدكم وحالنا وولادنا ولما شاخنا ولمن حضرنا ولمن غاب عنا وليحيائنا ولمواتنا وللمواذبين على هذا المجلس ولمن كان سببا في جمعنا بأن الله الكريم ينفر القلوب ويغفر الذنوب ويستر الهيوب ويحفظنا بما حافظ به الذكر وينصرنا بما نصر به الرسول وأن الله الكريم يجعل مجلسنا هذا محاطا بالخيرات والمسرات والأنوار والبركات ويقضي لنا جميع الهجات بجاه خير البريات وأن الله ينصر المسلمين وعلى نيتنا الله الكريم ينصر السلطان الأولياء مولانا الشيخ محمد نازم عادل حقاني قدس الله السر بجاه خير الأنام وعلى كل نية صالحة ما حسن الخاتمة عند الموت بعد الأمر المديد في تعات الله وإلى حضرة النبي بسر سورة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنت سلطاننا يا ربنا اغفر لنا وارحمنا وتب علينا وزد حبيبك سيد الأولين والآخرين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم زده يا رب عزا وشرافا ونورا وسرورا وسلطانا وردوانا رغما في الشيطان ومن تبيه عباد الله رجال الله أغثونا بأهل الله 
وكونوا أونانا في الله عصانا هذا بفضل الله ويا كتاب ويا أنجاب ويا سادات ويا أحباب وأنتم يا أولي الباب تعالوا فانسروا لله عبادا وارج سألناكم سألناكم والانزلفا رجعوناكم وفي أمر قصدناكم فشدوا أمركم بشارتي ويصفو أمرنا لله عباد رجال الله أغيثونا بأهل الله كشف الهج بأن عيني ورف البين من بيني وصرف القلب بفليني Allah, 
مدد مدد مدد يا سيد مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا أبو بكر صديق مدد يا عمر فاروق مدد يا عثمان غني مدد يا إمام علي مدد مدد مدد يا سيد مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا فاطمة زهرة مدد يا إمام حسن مدد يا إمام حسين مدد يا سلمان فارسي مدد مدد يا سيد مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا قاسم مدد يا صادق مدد يا بستام مدد يا خرقان مدد مدد مدد يا زين مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا فرمادي مدد يا همداني مدد يا خيدرو مدد يا غشدفاني مدد يا عارفون مدد يا فغنبي مدد مدد مدد يا عسيم مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا رمي ثاني مدد يا سماسي مدد يا أمير كولال مدد يا شاه نكشبند مدد يا التارو مدد يا شرخي مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا أحراري مدد يا ظاهدي مدد يا دربيشو مدد يا أمكناكي مدد يا باك بلدا مدد يا سر هندي مدد مدد مدد يا سيدي مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا مصور مدد يا سيف الدين مدد يا بدباني مدد يا شمس الدين مدد يا دهلافي مدد يا بغدادي مدد مدد مدد يا سيدي مدد مدد مدد مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا إسماعيل مدد يا خاص محمد مدد 
يا رب حفظ نك وامانك يا رب واسكننا جنانك يا رب يا جرنا من عذابك يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب وارزقنا الشهادة يا رب حدنا بالسعادة يا رب وصله كل مسلم يا رب وقف كل مذي يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم ان شاء الله اردو قالي بو Not number 45. Ali no yaad karo Ral ke faryaad karo Ali no yaad karo Ral ke faryaad karo ہے غریبان دا اے ہو آسرا علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم لکھتے کرون بنیا کو جم جم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم لکھتے کرون بنیا کو جم جم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی دم دم نبی دائے پیارا علی نور علی نور علی دائے اللہ اللہ کا بچ ظہور علی مولا علی مولا علی مولا علی علی علی مولا او دے جی دے مولا نے حضور علی پیر پیران دائے دل اندھا سرور علی مولا علی مولا علی مولا علی علی ولی اندھے سیران دائے تاج علی علی مومنہ دی بس ہے میرا جلی علی ولی اندھے سیران دائے تاج علی علی مومنہ دی بس ہے میرا جلی علی گن گن دسا کی میں علی دے کرم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم لکھتے کرون باری اکھو جم جم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی دی پیچان اے رب دی پیچان علی دی اطاقتا نو جان دا جہان علی مولا علی مولا علی مولا علی رب دا اے شیر اچھی علی دی اے شان کل ایمان علی نبی دا اعلان علی مولا علی مولا علی مولا علی حیدر کارا حاشمی جوان اللہ جواب علی علی حیدر قرار بطراب علی علی حاشمی جوان اللہ جواب علی علی جن دا نہ کوئی علی اونا دا بھرم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم لکھتے کرون باری اکھو جم جم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم علی مولا علی مولا علی دم دم اکھیاں دی تھنڈ علی دیلا دا قرار کلیاں دا روپ 
ਵਾਲੀ ਫੁੱਲਾਂ ਦਾ ਨਿਖਾਰ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਬਾਵਾ ਤੇ ਬਗੀਚਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਅਲੀ ਐ ਸ਼ਿੰਗਾਰ ਸਦਕੇ ਅਲੀ ਤੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਖੜੀ ਏ ਬਹਾਰ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਕਰੀਏ ਨਾ ਕਿਉਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਫੇਰ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਸੁਖ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਂਦੀ ਏ ਸਵੇਰ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਕਰੀਏ ਨਾ ਕਿਉਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਫੇਰ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਸੁਖ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਂਦੀ ਏ ਸਵੇਰ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਆਖੀਏ ਤੇ ਨਸ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਗਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਲੱਖ ਤੇ ਕਰੋੜ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਖੋ ਜਮ ਜਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਸਾਂ ਗੁਨਾਗਾਰਾਂ ਦਾ ਏ ਅਲੀ ਲਜਪਾਲ ਦੇਵਾਂ ਕੀ ਮਿਸਾਲ ਅਲੀ ਹੈਨ ਬੇਮਿਸਾਲ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਲੱਖਾਂ ਤੇ ਕਰੋੜਾਂ ਹੱਜਾਂ ਅਲੀ ਦਾ ਜਮਾਲ ਮੋੜਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਲੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਰੱਬੇ ਜ਼ੁਲ ਜਲਾਲ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਐ ਮੈਨੀ ਪੁਕਾਰ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਮਾਨਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਸਖੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਵਲੀ ਘਰਾਨਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਐਵੇਂ ਨੀ ਪੁਕਾਰ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਮਾਨਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਸਖੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਵਲੀ ਘਰਾਨਾ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਅਖੀਏ ਤੂਫਾਨ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਥਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਲੱਖ ਤੇ ਕਰੋੜ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਖੋ ਜਮ ਜਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀ ਦਮ ਦਮ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾਹ ਨੰਬਰ 26 ਪੇਜ 69 ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਕੁਤਬੋਂ ਕੇ ਇਮਾਮ ਆਪ ਹੈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਲਹਾਮ ਆਪ ਹੈ ਕੁਤਬੋਂ ਕੇ ਇਮਾਮ ਆਪ ਹੈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਲਹਾਮ ਆਪ ਹੈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਮਾਤੋ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਹਾਦੀਏ ਤਮਾਮ ਆਪ ਹੈ ਦੇ ਜੀਏ ਹਮੇ ਹਜ਼ੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਦੇਜ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਕਲਬ ਕੋ ਜਿਲਾ ਕਰੇ ਅਤਾ ਨਫਸ ਕੀ ਵੀ ਤਰਬੀਅਤ ਕਰੇ ਕਲਬ ਕੋ ਜਿਲਾ ਕਰੇ ਅਤਾ ਨਫਸ ਕੀ ਵੀ ਤਰਬੀਅਤ ਕਰੇ ਮਾਰਿਫਤ ਹੋ ਰੂਹ ਕੋ ਅਤਾ ਅਕਲ ਕੀ ਵੀ ਪਰਵਰਿਸ਼ ਕਰੇ ਕੀ ਜੀਏ ਮੁਰਾਦ ਪੂਰੀ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਸੁਗੂਰੇ ਮਾਰਿਫਤ ਹੋਇਆ ਫਨਾ ਬਕਾ ਆਪ ਕੀ ਮੁਹਿਤ ਮੇ ਹੋਏ ਮਾਰਿਫਤ ਹੋਇਆ ਫਨਾ ਬਕਾ ਆਪ ਕੀ ਮੁਹਿਤ ਮੇ ਹੋਏ ਹਰ ਅਲੂਮ ਜ਼ਾਹਿਰ ਬਾਤਿਲ ਦਸਤਰ 
عرس میں آپ کی رہے صاحب رموز نوری شیخ احمد سغورے شیخ احمد سغورے شیخ احمد سغورے حکم رہا آپ کا رما وسعتوں میں آپ کی اڑا حکم رہا آپ کا رما وسعتوں میں آپ کی اڑا اولیاء ہو یا ہو ملائک یا زمین میں بسے حیوان بہر و بر میں جی حضوری شیخ احمد سغوری شیخ احمد سغوری شیخ احمد سغوری اکس نما شیخ غمو کی شاہد انوار الہی اکس نما شیخ غمو کی شاہد انوار الہی فیض مبارک سے آپ کے ہے مدنی و شرف دین سلسلہ ہے آپ کا نوری شیخ احمد سغورے شیخ احمد سغورے شیخ احمد سغورے شیخ احمد سغورے شیخ احمد سغورے انشاءاللہ پرشن پرشن بک نات نمبر ٹو سرے کو یہ بلند فریاد کردہ علی شیر خدا را یاد کردہ علی شیر خدا دردم دوا کون مناجات مرا پیش خدا کون مولا علی جانا مولا علی جان مولا علی جانا مولا علی جان امیر المومنین یا شاہ مردان یا یا شاہ مردان یا یا شاہ مردان دل نوشاد مروشاد گردان یا یا شاہ مردان یا یا شاہ مردان مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان شب در مفل ذکر علی بود شنی دم اور فی فرزان فرمود اگر دست آلی دست خدا نیست جرا دست دگر مشکل گشا نیست مولا علی جانا مولا علی جان مولا علی جانا مولا علی جان امیر المومنین یا شاہ مردان یار 
یا شاہ مردان یار یا شاہ مردان دل ناشاد مال راشاد و گردان یار یا شاہ مردان یار یا شاہ مردان مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان اگر دو زخ به زیر پوستاری نہ سوزے گھر علی را دوستاری اگر مہرِ آلی در سینِ آتنی بے سوزِ گر ہزار انپس داری مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان امیر المومنین یا شاہ مردان یار یا شاہ مردان یار یا شاہ مردان دل ناشاد من راشد و گردان یار یا شاہ مردان یار یا شاہ مردان مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان مولا علی جانم مولا علی جان سلیم سلیم ورشن بک نات نمبر تھری پیٹ سیون مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر آب رو عالم ویلوی تو آغا دارون دار جہانی فخر متغیانی امیر مومنانی حسنی ساغی کانسر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر رمضان الكريم من سير حبيت سيرات المستقيم راحت راه هدايات قدرت بنهايات برمانا ما حنايات حق مالك وقمبر مولا علي يا حيدر مولا علي يا حيدر مولا علي يا حيدر مولا علي يا حيدر مولا علي يا حيدر دوا كل أربع بشر عشرة از نجف بے راویم بے سوئے کربلا خرشد عالمینی نبی را نور عینی گریہ کونیز حسینی سال صبح روز محشر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر مولا علی یا حیدر کو جب دے آغا بے روز عشرہ 
ਹੁਸੈਨਤ ਲਬ ਤੇਸ਼ਨੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਸਰ ਜੁਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਸ਼ਿਆ ਗਜ਼ਨੀ ਯਾ ਰਬ ਜਾਨ ਸ਼ਿਆ ਮਦੇ ਬਰ ਲਬ ਆਮਾ ਨਸਦੀਲੇ ਜ਼ੈਨਬ ਦਰਮਾਤ ਮੈਂ ਬਰਾਦਰ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਗਰੀ ਮਦਰ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀਆ ਹੈਦਰ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀਆ ਹੈਦਰ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀਆ ਹੈਦਰ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀਆ ਹੈਦਰ ਮੌਲਾ ਅਲੀਆ ਹੈਦਰ inshallah nat number 15 page 39 urdu quali book ye sab tumhara karam hai aaka ye sab tumhara karam hai aaka ke baat ab tak bani hui hai koi sale ka hai arzu ka koi sale ka hai arzu ka na bandagi meri bandagi hai ye sab tumhara karam hai aaka ye sab tumhara karam hai aaka kisi ka ehsaan kyun uthaye kisi ko halat kyun bataye kisi ka ehsaan kyun uthaye kisi ko halat kyun bataye ਸਭ ਤੁਮਾਰਾ ਕਰਮ ਹੈ ਆਕਾ ਬਸ਼ੀਰ ਕਹੀਏ ਨਜ਼ੀਰ ਕਹੀਏ ਉਹਨੇ ਸਿਰਾਜ ਮੁਨੀਰ ਕਹੀਏ ਬਸ਼ੀਰ ਕਹੀਏ 
نظیر کہیے انہیں سراج منیر کہیے جو سر بسر ہے کلا میرا بھی جو سر بسر ہے کلا میرا بھی وہ میرے آقا کی زندگی ہے یہ سب تمہارا کرم ہے آقا یہ سب تمہارا کرم آقا یہی ہے خالد اصول سے رحمت یہی ہے خالد بنا عظمت یہی ہے خالد اصول سے رحمت یہی ہے خالد بنا عظمت نبی کرم ہے آقا یہ سب تمہارا کرم ہے آقا کے بعد اب تک بنی ہوئی ہے کوئی سلیکہ ہے آرزو کا کوئی سلیکہ ہے آرزو کا نہ بن میری بندگی ہے یہ سب تمہارا کرم ہے آقا یہ سب تمہارا کرم ہے نات نمبر ایٹین پیج فورٹی سیون مردو کوالی بول نبی کا ذکر ہی خدا کا ذکر ہے نبی کا ذکر ہی خدا کا ذکر ہے نبی کی بات ہی خدا کی بات ہے اللہ کہہ دیا تو ثابت ہو گیا ید اللہ کہہ دیا تو ثابت ہو گیا نبی کا ہاتھ ہی خدا کا ہاتھ ہے نبی کا ذکر ہی صلی اللہ نبی اینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفیع نا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ نبی اینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفیع نا صلی اللہ محمد ہم پہ ایسی عطا ہے نبی کی بھول جائیں گے کیسے ہم کو خطرے ڈرائیں گے کیسے پاس آئیں گے کیسے یہ آنکھیں نم نہیں کوئی بھی غم نہیں کوئی بے غم نہیں کرم حضور کا ہمارے ساتھ ہے نبی کا ذکر ہے صلی اللہ نبی اینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفیع اینا صلی اللہ محمد ان کے صدقے ہی میں کے ہوئے ہیں دو 
جہاں کے نظارے ان کے فیض کرم سے روشن کہ کشاں اور ستارے یہ ساری روشنی یہ ساری دل کشی یہ ساری روشنی یہ ساری دل کشی میرے نبی کے حسن کی زکاة ہے نبی کا ذکر ہے صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفیعنا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ نبینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفیعنا صلی اللہ محمد بے عمل ہوں مگر میرے آقا نظر رحمت کریں گے میرے جیسے گناہ کار کی بھی وہ شفاعت کریں گے بڑے عظیم ہے بڑے کاریم ہے بڑے عظیم ہے بڑے کاریم ہے وہ جن کے ہاتھ میں میری نجات ہے نبی کا ذکر ہے صلی اللہ نبی اینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفیع نام صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ نبی نام صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفیع نام صلی اللہ محمد وہ جو کہہ دے وہ ہو کہ رہے گا یہی کہتا ہے قرآن ان کا فاروقی زندہ ہے فرما یہ ہمارا ہے ایمان اگر وہ دل کہیں تو راتیں دل بنے اگر وہ دل کہیں تو راتیں دل بنے کہیں وہ دل کو رات تو وہ رات ہے نبی کا ذکر ہے صلی اللہ نبی اینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفی اینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ نبی اینا صلی اللہ محمد صلی اللہ شفی اینا صلی اللہ محمد شیف نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علیہ وسلم اصحاب کرام ولم شیفینا فی طریقہ نشمندیت العالیہ و سائر و سادتنا و صدقینا الفاتحہ یا رسول کریم شد بنیت ختم خواب چکن فعوض باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله 
موسیقی اللهم يا مسبب الأسباب يا مفتح الأبواب يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار يا دليل المتحيرين ويا غياث المستغيثين يا حي يا قيوم يا ذو الجلال والإكرام وأفبد أمري إلى الله إن الله بصير موسیقی موسیقی موسیقی موسیقی آلِ محمدٍ وَسَلِمَ اللَّهُمْ صَلِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ وَسَلِمَ اللَّهُمْ صَلِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ وَسَلِمَ اللَّهُمْ صَلِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ وَسَلِمَ اللَّهُمْ صَلِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ وَسَلِمَ اللَّهُمْ صَلِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ وَسَلِمَ اللَّهُمْ صَلِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى موسیقی فَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ فَإِنَّمَا لُسْرِ يُسْرًا إِنَّمَا لُسْرِ يُسْرًا فَإِذَا فَرَقْتَ فَانْسَبْ وَإِلَى 
موسیقی موسیقی سورہ اخلاص بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل واللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفوان حب اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل واللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفوان حب اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل واللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفوان حب اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل واللہ اللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفو من حد اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل واللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفو من حد اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل واللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفو من حد اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل واللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفوان حب اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل ہو اللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفوان حب اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل ہو اللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفوان حب اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل ہو اللہ وحد اللہ السمد لم یلد ولم یولد ولم یکن لہو کفوان حب اللہ اکبر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سورہ فاتحہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب دالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا السراط المستقیم السراط اللہ دین نمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم الدالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب دالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا السراط المستقیم السراط اللہ دین نمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم الدالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب دالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا السراط المستقیم السراط اللہ دین نمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم الدالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب دالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا السراط المستقیم السراط اللہ دین نمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم الدالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب دالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا السراط المستقیم السراط اللہ دین نمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم الدالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب دالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا السراط المستقیم السراط اللہ دین نمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم الدالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب دالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا السراط المستقیم السراط اللہ دین نمت علیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم الدالین آمین صلوات 
اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم صل يا ربي وسن جميع انبياءه والمرسلين وكل اجمعين الحمد لله رب العالمين يا اشرف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلي اصحابه الكرام ولا مشاهدينا في طريقه النشبنديه العليا خاصه شان نشبن محمد ويسي البخاري سلطان علي الشيخ عبد الله فايز الداغستاني سلطان علي محمد نازم عبد الحكاني منال الشيخ شام كباني شيخ عدنان كباني شيخ محمد راد المبد خليق الخجتواني صاحب زمان سيد محمد المهدي عليه السلام روح الله سيدنا عيسى عليه السلام سيف الله سيدنا علي عليه السلام ثم سيدنا بكر صديق سيدنا عمر سيدنا عثمان امام الحسن عليه السلام امام الحسين عليه السلام سيدتنا فاطمه عليه السلام سائر وسادتنا وصديقنا الفاتحه الشفاء يا رسول الكريم امين النبي صلى فعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا 
ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم Oh! 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حسب الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا غير مغلوب صلوات اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم صلي ربي وسلم جميع أنبياءه والمرسلين وقل يا أجمعين وحمد لله رب العالمين إن شرف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى أصحابه الكرام ولا مشايخنا في طريقة نشبندية العالية خاصة روح إمام طريقة غوت خالي كشان نشبند محمد ويسي البخاري سلطان أولي الشيخ عبد الله فايز الدغستاني سلطان محمد نازم عبد الحكاني مولانا الشيخ الشام كباني الشيخ عدنان كباني الشيخ محمد رادل مولد خالي كل خوش دواني صاحب زمان سيد محمد المهدي عليه السلام روح الله سيدنا عيسى عليه السلام سيف الله سيدنا عليه السلام ثم سيدنا بكى صديق سيدنا عمر سيدنا عثمان امام الحسن عليه السلام امام الحسين عليه السلام سيداتنا فاطمة عليه السلام سائر وسادتنا والصديقين الفاتحه شفاء يا رسول الكريم فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulil Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Ajisu, Da'ifu, Miskeen, Zalim, Jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence and alhamdulillah for the holy month of Safar, the reality of this journey into the power of nine and the second lunar month brings us to the reality of eighteen and in this way of marifa and all haqqaiqs and realities it takes us to Suratul Kahf and Suratul Kahf is about the cave and our life is to run to the cave of rahmah and mercy in which Allah asks us through this holy surah that run to the cave. 
so that your Lord may shower His mercy upon you. And alhamdulillah for this rahmah and this mercy, this is a month in which has a majestic dress of haybah. Every month has a dress and a reality and we write these like a formula that this is the dress of haybah and majesty. This is from the reality of 18 and 18 has to do with ha and ya and hay. So this is also the cave of hayat and the eternal cave of life, the fountain of youth. This is the youthful fountain, note that you stay on this dunya, this is a dunya understanding. But to have the character of youthful innocence from the oceans of Al-Hayyat. And that fountain only exists in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And this is from the Muhammadan haqqaiqs that all of creation was in search of. And the dress of the month of majesty can appear to be difficult for people whom are running away from the dress of majesty. The dress of majesty is thy kingdom come and God's will shall be done. So as Divine will begins to dress the earth, people are not interested in Divine will. Hence they say this is a month of heaviness where we differ from Divine will and differ from its realities, it becomes a difficulty. For there's a wisdom in every difficulty and every difficulty that comes to the servant corrects them and dresses them. And awliyaullah those whom connected to this fountain of reality and this coming and these haqqaiqs coming from a great awliya and conveyed onto this earth by Hajj Amina of the 40 Abdal. These are the 12 veils of reality in the Muhammadan haqqaiq. And awliyaullah come and expand its understandings to bring its knowledge back onto earth for people in the last days. So those whom don't understand its realities they incur a tremendous amount of difficulty as a mercy. Why every difficulty comes to correct a crookedness and bring people back to its reality. And those whom Allah granting the reality is an immense reward. That in the days of an opening into the fountain of youth, the fountain of mercy and rahmah and they come to teach us that the mercy of the Divine is the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah In your life make yourself to be from the lovers of the Divine reality. It's the love of all the Holy Prophets alayhim as -salam. God's mercy and blessings infinitely be upon their souls and in their brotherhood of realities that they're drawing us, that come to this cave of mercy. That when the physical world becomes so difficult and the physical authority is calling you to their evilness. And each generation thought that they had reached the apex of evilness which today I believe, we believe we have reached the apex of evilness. When the authority of the dunya calls you to worship that which it believes and that it calls itself a divine power. And the sleepers of the cave represent that immense reality. This is just a quick summary for people whom are coming new and saying, what, what, what is happening in this month? The month of Safar is a month of majestic dress. And awliyaullah come into our life that leave the oceans of difficulty and come to the secret of Allah's rahmah. It's difficult for all those who are outside of the cave. That's the whole concept of the cave. 
Why would you have to run to a cave if everything outside the cave was enjoyable? Right? So why they found cave drawings? And many researchers came back and said, there must have been horrific events on the earth that people went and hid themselves in caves, deep into caves. And then began to write on the walls of caves warnings of what was coming and how they had perished. So it means that the condition of ignorance leaves the believer nowhere to run to be safe, safe with their faith. And we see that now, the conditions are such that in six directions shaitan has a vow to attack. Six directions his magnetism is drawing people, whether their faith, their fashion, their desires, their, their temptations, their diet, in every direction we describe evilness is its jazab, its juzba is pulling people towards its evilness in which they can't even imagine they're being drawn to it, they don't even notice it and this is the immense danger. All over the world they start to show videos and children are tattooed in, in Muslim countries or supposedly Muslim countries. Fashions that are not appropriate, desires and appetites that are not appropriate, markings and, and, uh, and manipulations of your physicality not appropriate. And then they want to debate with you that there is no evilness. And those whom Allah guided truly are guided and those whom Allah has not given them the light of guidance, they are not guided. And as a result of the lack of light and the inability for foresight. If your room is dark, this is an analogy, how can you claim to be seeing? And you keep looking and say, there's nothing here, I don't know what you're talking about. But those whom God has granted a light, they look in the very same room and they say, no there are demons in here and they're marking you and they're making you eat this, drink this and wear that. And you don't see them but their magnetism for you is strong. And your default is, not that I'm not going to do anything and I'll stand still, you're already moving towards them. The protection that Allah gives to the believer is run from what they worship and run to the cave of Rahmah. It's a portal and it's a portal that has always been upon this earth. And Allah has these portals all over the earth. These are the stations and portals of mercy. As soon as somebody has a little bit of light within their heart, they recognize this shaykh is speaking something I understand. I'm seeing the darkness, I see the difficulties, I see how people are drawn all over in every direction towards evilness. And Allah grants us in the month of Safar, then run to the light, run to the cave of Rahmah. That's when your beads begin to come together, the shaykh's teachings come together. Wherever you are and whoever you are, the cave of mercy and Divine Grace is in the prophetic reality. Not Jesus and a man who calls himself God. And not a Messiah who decides to kill and slaughter two million people right now, today. But the one whom calls you to Divine Grace and Light through good actions and good deeds. Which good deeds and good actions are witnessed. They fast 30 days, they dress modestly, they should be talking beautifully. Not the version of these people that were created by organizations and nobody even knows him and no scholar accepted their belief system, but the true way of Muhammadun Rasulullah The one whom represents the reality of Sayyidina Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam.
the one who represents the reality of Sayyidina Musa the one who represents the reality of all the Prophets when they brought the Risalat and the message upon this earth which now all corrupted and in the hands of awliyaullah. That is the mercy of the Divine. If you love Sayyidina Isa ibn Maryam salam, run to the cave of Rahmah and mercy of Sayyidina Muhammad If you love Sayyidina Musa salam, run to the cave of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah's promise is to open a mercy upon your soul. As a result this is the month of immense rahmah and mercy. It's tajalli from when Prophet is being dressed by the Divine. These are 12 veils that eternally dressing the soul of Muhammadun Rasulullah from La ilaha illallah. Subhana man huwa al-alim al-hakim means Allah is dressing upon the reality of Prophet Subhana man alim al-hakim Glory be to the one alim al-hakim that every knowledge and every wisdom being put upon that light and that soul. So means that this cave of mercy is the source of alim and hakim knowledge and wisdom. That very cave in which the Holy Qur'an is manifesting out towards all of creation, this is the cave of Rahmah and mercy. Anyone whom enters into this cave with its knowledges and its realities is asking to be dressed by eternal oceans of life. They manifest as a portal on this earth through Zamzam. If they know it, if they know the reality, means they can open the knowledge of its portal. That Zamzam is a direct drop from the fountains of Kawthar in paradise. That fountain of Kawthar, its source is the heart of Muhammadun Rasulullah that's when Allah means what flows from your heart of light is every reality, every light, Nurul Anwar wa Sirat al Asrar, every secret of light and every light of secret is flowing from this Kawthar oceans. Everything is contained within it, there's nothing left out of it. Because there's nothing outside of Muhammadun Rasulullah you don't exist in La ilaha illallah because everything is in this container, everything is La ilaha illallah the power, you don't exist there, no, no angel exists there, no planet exists there, nothing exists there. It's clear in its own phrase, it means there is nothing but Allah so everything existing in Muhammadun Rasulullah every soul of every Prophet, of every holy book, of every angel, of everything holy within the heavens and within creation, everything exists within that ocean. All of that is manifesting of the Kawthar. Every drop from this Kawthar are all these universes and creations. And anyone who wants to take from that portal, they drink from the Zamzam. As soon as they drink from the Zamzam with its knowledge, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Raheem, Inna atainaka al-Kawthar fasalli li rabbika manhar. They prayed unto their authority. Who's my authority? Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. Ya Rabbi, I'm trying my best to obey you by obeying Sayyidina Muhammad and I'm under the authority of my ulul amr. As a result grant me from the realities of the kawthar. As soon as they drink from that these are oceans of hayat that dress upon the servant. These are all the Divine Rahmah and gift that Allah was giving. Nations had to seek out its reality and figure out what was the fountain of youth. Traveling and moving 
and analyzing, meditating, contemplating so that they could find where Muhammadun Rasulullah would manifest the reality so that they could find it. But what Allah gave to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is His awliya that they come and teach us what other Prophets were dying to achieve and to drink from and to take from. This is the gift for his own nation. But follow the ashaqeen and muhibbeen whom love the reality, they drink and bless from that reality to show you how to come and approach that reality. There doesn't need to be a difficulty and crushing. The only crushing is outside of the ishq and the muhabbat of Muhammadun Rasulullah as a result, then we understand the rahmah when Allah Alimul Hakim enter into these oceans of light, drink from its kawthar, make your salawat, your durood and your praisings. As you pray upon Sayyidina Muhammad you are praising and praying upon all the souls of all the holy prophets of Allah this is the immense reality of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because Prophet takes from whatever blessings and goodness coming to his soul and gives out to Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. These are the first that eat from the table of Prophet this is the immense mercy and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Say, I'm in last days, I'm lost, I don't know how to send my love for Sayyidina Isa ibn Maryam, not Jesus. We don't know why they're calling Zeus and the Roman God have anything to do with these heavens. But Sayyidina Isa ibn Maryam salam, then I make durood al-Sharif upon Prophet says, I am Qasim, I will distribute my provisions, not you, I will distribute. Say, Ana Qasim, the one whom divides the blessings of Allah, distributes the blessings of Allah and Prophet give from Qur'an, Qur'an and Majeed that Allah said, to whom you're going to give these blessings? To Nabiin, because whom Allah favoured. I'm going to give them to Nabiin first. Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin, and these are the best of whom will receive that provision. And then Allah I'm with them. Why? Whatever Prophet want to distribute is what? To whom Allah loves and favours, He's not doing something outside of Allah's will. So it means that when we enter into this cave of rahmah, this cave of love wherever you are, whoever you are, Send your salutations upon Prophet and he will divide them amongst the holy Prophets, the ones you love, the saints you love, the souls you love and all those whom are favoured in the Divine the Presence. He, he is وسلم, the best of those to distribute. Not one share will be given to the wrong direction because he's adil and just and will divide the provision, divide the love and divide all of the good deeds and good character from the nations that are coming to the door of Sayyidina Muhammad The nations whom are lost and they realize that there's no representation of my faith on this earth now. Run to the door into the cave of Sayyidina Muhammad so that he will represent you in the presence of all the holy Prophets, all of the holy saints and holy souls. The one whom Allah now is understand. we are understanding when Allah is describing that this is the religion of truth. It keeps its truth through all darkness and all difficulty, not by the hands of common people. They have given and signed their existence to shayateen. But this deen is safeguarded in the hands of awliyaullah, the ulul am whom are connected to Prophet Wasallam's heart and Prophet Wasallam is the representation of Allah wa Jalalihi. This is the amazing reality of this cave and rahmah. 
This is the amazing reality that Allah is giving to us in this month, enter the cave. Acknowledge the oceans of ignorance to the left, to the right, above, below, in front and behind and say, Ya Rabbi grant me, grant me the reality of A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem that there is no there is no way of safety except to seek refuge in Allah from the accursed one and the only refuge of Allah is the soul and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And that we're entering into that cave and asking, Ya Rabbi then dress us. Dress us from Divine lights and Divine blessings, increasing our duru, the sharif, our salawats and all of these different etiquettes that they gave to us. And the rahmah of this nation is known by these awliya. So they asked and anyone whom is coming into this cave, there are certain shaykhs that have been given different secrets. One such secret for this month and its tajalli is the reality of Sayyidina Abu Ahmad al-Suquri that Mawlana Shaykh's teaching that from Shaykh Sultan al-Awliya Abu Ahmad al-Suquri Siru, tell the students to remember my name, recite Fatiha upon my name, bring into their tafakkur and their contemplation my reality, do good deeds and good actions, give water, give food in my name so that I can make a du'a and pray for them. Any difficulty that would be coming to them in this month because this is the month of haybah and majesty, I will bring it to be lowered and bring any difficulty to be brought down. And not only to have difficulties brought down but he carries the immense secrets of the heart. If it's not difficulties to be reduced then alhamdulillah the servant can take the benefit of immense lights to be deposited within the heart of the servant to reach to the Muhammadan kingdom and the Muhammadan lights. These are the mercies of tariqah that must be told to the students of tariqah. This is the month to remember Sayyidina Sultan al-Awliya Abu Ahmad al-Suguri siru and that he intercede for us from the difficulties and to deposit within our hearts the immense lights and blessings of the holy month of Safar and the knowledges and wisdoms. Recite the etiquette for the month and the recitations that the shaykhs have established. And we described before that in the recitation there are seven Surat al-Feel and then we describe why Surat al-Feel because the mentioning of the Kaaba in Holy Qur'an is in reference to the heart of the believer. What they're going to know about the Kaaba if their heart is corrupt? What are they going to understand about the Kaaba if the heart is corrupt? Only what you can understand is the condition that you're in. And by reciting Surat al-Feel in which Allah defended the Kaaba with arbabil, with birds that carried within their beak pellets from heaven to stone the enemies of the Kaaba. What then is Allah providing for the believer when they recite seven times Surat al-Feel? Is Allah defend the heart of His servant? What's dearer to Allah? The house of stones or the heart in which He built and said, make my heart, make my home within your heart. Make your heart to have no haram, no, no bad desire and willful negligence within your heart to harm somebody, to want to inflict evilness and, and darkness upon people. You hear them, they speak and they say, no, no, we want to go out and kill these people. If you kill them small, you kill them before they become big. What kind of haram is that? What kind of garbage is that to even bring out from your mouth? When Allah said, make your heart my house, there's no evilness. 
There's no wantfulness of harm and, and difficulty against somebody. Keep your house filled with mercy and forgiveness. Not that you won't do wrong but you don't let hate and evilness to enter into the heart. And when you've done wrong quickly admit it and ask Allah for forgiveness. This is the month in which we are asking to run into the cave of mercy and Allah again that you want your condition changed but I want you changed. Everybody is like in a battle with Allah No, no Allah is not changing my condition, well because you're the servant, He's the Creator. Allah wants you to change. We're asking to enter into the heart of Rahmah, Allah is asking, make your heart a Rahmah. Make your heart to be filled with Rahmah. When you've done wrong, you quickly admit it and ask for forgiveness. Don't let evilness into your heart. Make it an abode of mercy and grace for all of Allah's creation. As a result, circumambulate your heart. Circumambulate your heart means what? Just keep making tawaf around your heart, meditate around your heart and ask that, Ya Rabbi is my heart trying to do your will on this earth or am I only following my own will and hoping for a good ending in heaven? But our life was that, I circumambulate my heart and ask that, give me an understanding to do your will. And when I'm off and wrong on your will, guide me, inspire within my heart. Surat al-Fil is opening that reality for this month because we're asking to go into the cave of Rahmah. Ya Rabbi defend my heart. That the Arbabil and the reality and the haqqaiq for all of creation because they're not going to get miracles of birds manifesting but the birds represent the angels, the jinn and the awliya. They manifest as birds for us because our eyes are not able to see their reality. And only Allah come and teach, know that Allah will send these servants of the Divine. These are the ulul am from Budal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Wal Akhyar, Malaika, Wa Jinn. From all these categories are the ulul am, the servants of Allah. And they will defend the heart of the servant if the, if the servant is willing to make their heart God's house and grace. And as I'm making my heart to be your house Ya Rabbi, help me to defend my heart. That every badness I'm trying to keep out but only you can defend my heart. Means whatever people say, whatever people do, whatever happening on this earth, we need God's help to defend the heart. And that's why only Allah came and said, recite this etiquette in this month, it's not a coincidence. You're asking to enter into the heart of light but Allah's looking to see, make your heart of light. Because you can't be rotten hearted asking to enter into the heart of light. The badness and, and the Wickedness of human hearts has to be cleaned and fortified, protected and as they're entering into the Divine heart and Divine house of God that Allah to sanctify, to purify and to protect us in this holy month and that with our duru, the sharif, our salawats and all our good actions, faith in actions. Faith without action means nothing because didn't take an effect upon our being. Faith with just words commenting that this one's bad, this one's bad, that one bad, this one bad is of no value to the Divine. If you think someone's bad then do better and don't worry about that one. Faith is based on action. Who can provide the most amount of action to validate their faith? We pray that Allah grant us good actions and good deeds so that our faith can bloom everywhere. That people will eat from the blessings of our faith, people will drink from the blessings of our faith, people will praise based on the blessings of our faith. Because you make a table sent from paradise for people to enjoy 
because it was made from the people of faith. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salamun al mursaleen muhammadillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri surat al Fatiha. So what do we have from our SMC families, inshaAllah, all the people sharing, posting. Uh, this is the month inshaAllah to share about uh, Surah Al-Feel, very important that Allah to, to help us to feel uh, some people use as a sign of their political parties and symbolizes elephants and strength and how they're trying to come against the Kaaba. So there's a sign in everything. May Allah protect us from those who wish to destroy the Kaaba and res- destroy faith. Most important is the Kaaba within our hearts. Whatever people destroy, they can't destroy the heart of somebody if Allah's protecting their heart. Structures may go but faith remains within here, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, is the t- Jalali Tajalli in the month of Safar meant to prepare us for the arrival of the holy month of Rabi'ul Awwal? Yeah, could be. Uh, every cleaning is to prepare us for the reality of the birth. Means when we're entering it's all like a string on a path, yeah, the, the golden path that you're entering into the cave and you're asking Alimul Hakim that knowledge and wisdom, Mullah grants knowledge and wisdom has been granted the greatest gift. Well, they want to give you gold, he wants to give you knowledges and wisdom, hikmati bi salihin, ilma laduni wa hikmati bi salihin. Knowledge without wisdom is a weapon. Wisdom without knowledge doesn't make sense, don't majdub. You can't, you can't uh, express anything. But whom Allah wants to complete the servant, He give them ilma laduni wa hikmati bi salihin, divinely knowledges because not accounting knowledges and the hikmah of the salihin, wisdom, so that they can bring out its realities without offending and harming people or their knowledges. So this is an immense gift from the Divine the Presence. They're asking to receive those gifts, do good, make salawats, enter the cave and then boom, Rabbil Awwal is what? Is the light of that cave spark within the servant's heart. Not Prophet Wasallam's heart is already in existence. But what happens to the servant who recognizes the birth of Prophet Wasallam? What Allah has in Qur'an, فِيكُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ He is within you. Wahhabis don't like, they say he's around you. Around in doesn't matter, light means it's all around you. But what the reality is, is that when they celebrated the milad, they loved the milad, they did everything for the milad and Nabi Allah makes that light to be born within your heart and your heart changes to Rasulullah become Muhammadiyun heart. And this is a gift from Prophet Why? Because this is the sign of faith. Ya Omar, you have to love me more than you love yourself. How can you love Prophet more than you love yourself? Is that if Prophet give permission for his light to enter the heart of the servant and then his light enter the servant's heart, who's going to win? Prophet's heart, Prophet's light. Means why? He comes in now battling every evilness just like on Hajj. His last Hajj was no weapons, why? Because when you enter in Safar, what happens on Zul Hajj? He enters into your heart. He enters into your heart and makes the Hajj within your heart. Because the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah has entered the heart of the servant. The light of Prophet is the light that's supported by Allah 
So from that second month all the way to the twelfth month in which the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah completes within the heart of the servant if they struggled and did everything they can. So then their hajj is real hajj. Their hajj is with the Muhammadan light within their heart, that heart becomes Baytullah. So there is a journey, something is supposed to be happening. That's why if you don't follow the shaykhs you don't know what you're following. It's coming Rabbil Awal and somebody's bringing a, a hockey player, cricket player to, to get some money. What are you doing you lost your mind? What do you think you're going to get with that? You missed Prophet you missed the whole reality. And that's why we say whom is guided is guided, it's a gift from Allah Who's not guided you'll be playing soccer by the end of the twelfth month. What are you going to achieve from that? What is the benefit of that? This is a path, something is happening. Every day and every month has its purpose and its reality to the presence and the Muhammadan presence, the haqiqat al-Muhammadiyya. So from this cave most important is that Prophet grant us the light of Milad al-Nabi in which, Ya Rabbi they love me, they love me more than, than the, they love themselves, they're doing everything for this love that grant my light within their hearts. And that milad becomes their milad, that's the immense reality that you will be born. The Muhammadun Rasulullah will be born that light within their heart. That light will fight every devil, will hudan uh, al-muttaqeen, Allah That light is a guidance from Allah That light will come and, and begin to take away every difficulty and every badness from the servant. And that's why then how do you feed that light? With salawat upon Prophet So keep making your salawat, keep making your durood al-sharif. There's something happening, it's not just a, a philosophy and a talking experience. This is a real path inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh beloved Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh Allah Azza wa Jalla and Sayyidi, Sayyidina Muhammad continue to bless you eternally. Thank you. Allah bless you. Alhamdulillah. Prophet bless you. What is the spiritual reality to Imam Ali alayhi salam being granted the secret physical passage to meet up with Sayyidina Muhammad and Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq alayhi salam? Hmm? I don't know. What, what, what. That's probably for a different day, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullahi Sayyidi, what is the significance of jinn and humans sleeping in the same cave? Does it symbolize their peaceful coexistence? No. Nobody talks about that, nobody knows that so it's just seven sleepers. But that uh, what Mawlana Shaykh described of the two, <laughs> two of them being of the jinn means that anytime there's going to be spiritual activities they're involved. So they are a great support for mankind when it's by authority. So the people are not achieving things because they're all of a sudden powerful but there are servants of Allah that are very powerful and we are in need. It shows ourselves a weakness. Arrogant people think, no I just go in a cave and I'm gonna achieve the things that Allah want me to achieve. But in its reality it's not like that. That of Allah you're in need of Allah's servants. So it makes us to be da'if, to be in a state continuously of weakness. And that's why we say, Madar ya rijalullah. You don't know what rijalullah is. When you make a madad and you're sitting at home, there could be a very powerful awliya. And the awliya again 
from different categories of Allah's creation could be right in front of you. You will not see them and you may not even sense them if you're not trained but they're there and they facilitate what Allah bi-ithnillah what Allah wants. So that's you know they pick you up and move you in a second, shield you from something in a second, something that cannot be understood but the servants have to be trained. So when they entered into the cave those jinn immediately put an energy upon them by permission of Allah and that energy that came upon them transported them. So for them it seemed like 309 years, uh, for, for us it was 309 years but for them it was one day. They say, it seems like it's been one day. So that's a portal, they were shifted into something else and, and some other reality. But because time is, is not relevant in this world of energy and light. What transpired here, because not only after Einstein people know that. So what happened in the regular world was, oh you've been gone 309 years, these coins are very old coins. But Allah clarifies their dialogue, it seems like it was one day because these spiritual beings came, provided an energy, they moved. Energy came back, they woke up, 309 years has transpired. So these are important in spiritual training to keep your heart open, be humble. Allah has many servants, many capabilities but He wants us to be in need. Why give one servant everything? And why Allah wants to say, okay well, I could give it to you if I want to give that power but He wants the servant to have a sense of humility that I have certain abilities but I don't have that ability Ya Rabbi. He said, be humble, don't worry. In an instant one will appear to you, shield you, even they drop an atomic bomb on you, it's completely irrelevant. That's why people are using their mind. And the people email, Shaykh look like they're going to make war, they're going to make this, they're going to make that. Yeah but if you're trained in spirituality and you trained yourself to be da'if and weak that uh, if at any moment something coming and you hear Allah make a jinn appear in front of you and immediately take you and move you. And the whole building can be gone and you're, you could be sitting on Mars if Allah wants. So it's not something difficult, they, they even show it in their movies. But what shaitan blocks from people is knowledge. If shaitan goes to a whole region and says, no, no, no, no, don't do like that, don't do like that, don't think like that, don't think like this, be physical, be harsh, don't really praise Prophet so much. What happens is you take people's faith away. So they wouldn't even occur to think like that, they wouldn't be sitting to make their madad, they wouldn't be sitting to connect their hearts. And as a result if shaitan pulls the knowledge from you then you don't even think to ask from that. Why Allah grant it? You know people say, oh, if I jump off a roof God will save me. He said, that's not how it works, you jump off the roof you break your legs because you're not trained like that. You're not trained like Sayyidina Ibrahim that throw me into a fire and I'm not going to burn. You're going to burn but if you train like Sayyidina Ibrahim, you walk in the fire nothing's going to happen. But you would know that because Allah trained you. So this is a, these are the days of training, that's why our posts go out and there's many crazy comments. And that's not for you to be upset about posting but one, anyone who posts take your comments off, you don't need comments because there's crazy people. You just want the knowledge to get out. But what it does show you is that maybe 90% of the people don't believe anymore. So they find this teaching to be bizarre, which is okay but whom Allah wants to understand will know. So when you sit and train on madad, you, you train on how to be sensitive to all spiritual beings. These mu'min beings have no permission to interfere with people. So this is not the one who talks to you and talks to your head and whispers in your, your mental psychosis. These beings don't interfere in anything but when you train in meditation and madad and making the connection with your shaykh, there are many, many different resources available. Once the student trains in that, believes in that and has a very strong connection in that, 
that is suffice for them that if something is going to open, a difficulty going to come, these beings are going to be very active at that time. So they fill your house and your house will look like there's an entire fortress of people inside, you won't be alone. But at this time that's not necessary to show. But in times where people are going to go out and start to try to do things and harm people, then they will make themselves to be known and the force of awliya will be known upon this earth. So they plan, they do whatever they think they want to do, but Allah's might and majesty is something that can't be understood. But the earth will understand once the door of that permission opens. But until that time what's necessary is for people to believe, believe. Okay, make your connection, make your connection. There's nothing that can be imagined of what, what type of uh, abilities and energies and realities. So alhamdulillah, we see it in the movies, that's why so many people like sci-fi movies. You know these beings just come in an instant, move you, shh, doesn't matter what they threw on your head, if you direct hit it, nothing, you won't even be there. And that within a fraction of a thought, it doesn't take them it's time to do anything. So alhamdulillah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah When we are hit with hasad, are we raised and given from the good deeds of the envious ones? Good deeds and raised? Yeah, anytime difficulty comes then the servant if patient then alhamdulillah. After difficulty comes ease, after difficulty comes ease, our life is about being patient through all testing. And then to block out hasad, don't talk too much, don't praise, don't show, don't you know keep low profile in life so that not to take the eyes of people because their eyes are not under their control. So people envy what they see and uh, they send out an energy. That's why we said then you protect yourself with your practices, your wudu and isfan. So you burn isfan in the house often. These negative energies can't breathe when that isfand is lit. As a result they choke and they have to leave. So if you get uncontrollable headache and energy and all of a sudden something feeling heavy, burn isfand and then try to move it around the house so these energies have to go, inshaAllah. They can't breathe in that energy. So immediately alhamdulillah with Allah's might and majesty these difficulties go, inshaAllah. Finito? Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdalillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Al Shafati ya Rasul al Kareem. Alhamdulillah. Jummah Mubarak to everyone. InshaAllah Allah Azza wa Jalla address everyone, bless everyone, forgive me, and we we'll see everybody tomorrow night, inshaAllah. Shukran. Assalamu